Hmm. Hello, everybody. My name is Torture Three Gaming, and I have my wife, Megan Johnson, uh, with me. Uh, we just uh, saw the movie premiere of Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, if you excuse me, if I don't look at the camera, I'm driving right now, and my wife's holding my phone for me. Um, I, I figured uh, this would be uh, my chance for me and my wife to uh, give our thoughts on the movie. Um, I thought it was really good. Uh, it, it does follow the Five Nights at Freddy's one, uh, it, it almost follows all of their storylines. Um, I don't know if it uses any of the characters from Matt Pat's theories on Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, however, still really good movie, really good watch. Anybody who's played Five Nights at Freddy's, I would highly recommend, um, seeing the movie. Um, uh. There are a couple of gory scenes, so definitely not for kids. Uh, definitely not for kids. Um, but those are uh, those are my initial thoughts. Um, I'll th give it over to you, honey, to give your initial thoughts. Um, I thought it was good. It was pretty scary. Um, I don't think that it's good for, like, like if you work with children or, you know, like Stephen was saying, like, if you are a child, don't watch. Um, and just, like, just try to remember it's just a movie. And But it, it was scary, but it was also really good, and I gassed a couple times <laughs> <laughs> yep uh but yeah that's all um so a big big shout out uh through the movie that uh cory x kenshin and matthew patrick from game theory had uh really pivotal roles in the movies uh many people would consider them throwaway roles because i mean it's uh, they're they're not they're they're big on youtube and youtube entertainment um and it, it's wonderful acting, wonderful job to Matthew Patrick and Corey Extension for their roles. Uh, for Corey as the uh, cab driver and Matt Pat as the waiter in the movie. Um, and it, it really, it really did uh, take aspects from the game. And I know I'm a, uh, I'm a big Five Nights at Freddy's buff. It did take, uh, the camera's not on again. Uh, it did take certain aspects from, from the games. Um, Especially with the uh, the uh, death of William Afton, um, and it uh, uh, cer certain elements like the possession of the uh, children, and I mean there there wasn't many details on Five Nights at Freddy's one. I mean it, the the fact that uh, Josh Hutcherson played Matt Schmidt, who was the night guard in the first game, um, was really cool. But, and then if people might say, well, like, oh, he's just, not, he's falling asleep in the office. He's not actively searching through the cameras like the night guard does in the games. But you got to remember that in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, 3, that's all you did was you sat in an office, you cycled through the cameras to make sure all the animatronics were in their proper place. Um, you didn't necessarily, uh, and, and you got to get, you gotta consider that they didn't necessarily put in much more details than that, especially in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, when you survived the night, you went on to the next night. Um, but the details of that, he's doing this from 12 o'clock in the evening until one, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning is still there. Um, and the details of that, uh, there are certain other details that are in there as well. Um, I will say the one thing I didn't like was that, uh, the set was a little decrepit. Um, because Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3 made it feel like it was a more legitimate business. Um, if they did want to go with a decrepit look, they could have done the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Fazbear Frights. Just my uh, personal opinion on that. Um, yeah, give some of your thoughts, honey, because I, I don't want this to just be me. Um, I was thinking something and I forgot. Oh, I really enjoyed the concessions, and the Slurpee was kind of fun. It was, like, black. Um, and it was a mystery flavor, and I honestly couldn't tell you what... Well, just more details on the movie, too. Like. Um, the movie was... Watch. Um, the movie was really good. Um, yeah. Again, I gassed a couple times. Um, like, any details in the movie? Like, well, I don't want to give itself. away the plot. Well, don't give away the plot, but certain things you liked, certain things you didn't like. I didn't like all the horror, but I did like the... Oh. Like, there were a lot of girl, like, girl power things, too. But I didn't like all the scary moments. Like what? Like the, the um, what's her name? Vanessa. Yeah, she was cool about the like. I liked that she, um, that she was one of the main characters, and that she was there was like um, 
like at the very end she had um she was the one that was like holding stuff and she was like like more like girl and it was like girl power kind of thing i really enjoyed that i'm not gonna give it anyway anything because i'm not that person <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing small details as well, uh, just based on what I knew from the games and how the games worked, uh, but I don't want to spoil the whole movie. Uh, it's definitely a good watch. Um, the work with the animatronics was pretty amazing, to be quite frank. They moved really good, and they looked really good. Um, there are certain details that they added that... Uh, it even went outside the bounds of FNAF 1. Like, there were details from Five Nights at Freddy's 3, uh, details from, uh, they didn't really connect it too much to the Aftons and the Afton family, uh, from FNAF, uh, 4 onwards, uh, but things like Controlled Shock is definitely in there, um, from FNAF 6, so there's just certain details in there. It, it's a, definitely a good watch. Uh, my recommendation is to go see it, uh, if you haven't seen the movie yet, please go see the movie. It is a fantastic watch, and uh, Scott Coven, you did a good job in uh, supervising this movie. Um, that's all my final thoughts. Um, I do eventually plan on doing a Security Breach playthrough once I can get it for my upgraded console, so look out for that. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, that these are my uh, these are my wife and I's final thoughts on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie that just came out this past Friday. So with that in mind. I have been Torch with 3 Gaming. And I'm Megan Christie Johnson. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys.